Welcome to this series of tips on web services. We'll discuss different tips related to RESTful web services, so web services and microservices as well. All the tips we would look at are on our GitHub repository in 28 minutes tips database. You have a wide range of tips in here. One of the important things that you need to make sure that you're thinking about when you're designing your RESTful web services is error handling. When a consumer sends a request, the most important thing is he gets the right response back. You don't want a empty response going back to a request. You'd want the consumer to know what happened with the request. So one of the important things is to have some global error handling. So whenever something goes wrong and you don't know what went wrong, it's better to, resp to respond back with a server error. Let's say something like 500. Whenever a resource is not found, do not return a server error back. Send the specific response status for resource not found. Let's look at an example. I'm searching for an existing user and sending a get request to it and I'm getting the user back. That's cool, isn't it? So I'm getting the user back. I'm seeing the representation which is coming back. That's very cool. Now I'm searching for a non-existing user. He's not here, thousand. So what I'm getting back is a status of 404 not found. This is good error handling because it's not returning a server error back, but it's returning an error saying 404. The status of the response is 404. That basically means the resource is not formed. This is an example of good error handling. I'm sending a request to a non-existing URI, abc slash def and something like that and clicking a send. You can see that now I'm getting a 404 not found. So this is again a resource which is not found. So this is something which is really good error handling. So whether you are actually searching for some URI, a user with a non-existing ID or anything which is a wrong URI, you'd want to return a 404 back. That is really good error handling. Other important status is when something wrong goes wrong on the server, it's very important to return a status of 500 back. That's a server error. The other important error statuses are 400, which you send back when there is a validation error. And also 401, when a user is unauthorized. So he's not authorized to access the resource. We already talked about 404, resource not found, and 500 server error. Until now we have been talking about the response status that is returned by your resource. One more important thing is what detail is respond, sent back as part of your response. So the body of the response, it's really good if you can have a standard exception structure. So it's great if across the organization for specific errors, you return specific kind of a structure for the errors. These are the two important things which res with respect to error handling. One, what is the response status code you are returning back? And what is the content of the response that you are sending back? Make sure that whatever you are sending back is understandable by consumer and there is no confusion about it. Until the next tip, bye-bye. Do not forget to check out our tips database for more tips on a wide range of topics. Until I see you in another In 28 Minutes video, here's bye from the team here at In 28 Minutes.